Christ is risen. Indeed, risen. I didn't like it. Christ is risen. Indeed, is risen. She hokom. Al Messiah hokam. God bless you. Happy Easter, happy resurrection to all of you because we are still in this holy season, the season of the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And sometimes after the day of the spiritual event, such as the Easter, we forget, and next day or the day after, we go back to our normal spiritual life. Because around the Holy Week or during the Great Lent or any spiritual event, we feel we are spiritually maybe closer to God. But right after that season, slowly, slowly, if not sometimes very sharp, we go back to our normal, which is not good spiritual life. And if this is what happened with you, don't be surprised. This Sunday, which is the second Sunday after the Easter, the resurrection, the disciples, they were gathered together. And we know out of 12, seven of them, they were fishermen. They were working as a fisherman to live. Even the Lord appeared to them too many times. And today is the third time according to the reading that we read this morning from book of John. Even though we see them, they got a little bit bored. And this is what Simon or Peter, he said to the disciples. He said to them, I'm going to fish. We know that that, that, that was their job. So after two weeks from Jesus' resurrection, first time he appeared after his resurrection, the first Sunday, the Easter Sunday, and he appeared in that Sunday also to the two disciples of Emmaus. And Sunday after, which is last Sunday, he appeared to Thomas. He told him, let's strengthen your faith. Don't doubt and come touch the place of the wounds in my body. And this Sunday, the Lord appeared to them but it was in different way. Because slowly, slowly, they began to go back to their normal life. So Simon, he said to the disciples, he said, you know, guys, I think Jesus, he rose from death, and now we have nothing to do. He said, let's go back to our normal life. He said, I'm going fishing. So the rest of the disciples who were with him, they said to him, we are going with you also. Unfortunately, this is what happened to a lot of us after this holy season. Because the resurrection does not end on the day of Easter. Rather, the season of the resurrection begin on that day. So we should be careful and not give our ears and our thought to the evil one who telling us, you know, you prayed a lot, you did a lot, you fast, you give some donation. So now it's time for yourself to go back to your normal life and enjoy your life. This is not the voice of God. This is the voice of the world. So that's why we should take advantage of this holy day to take a blessing to the rest of our days. So we should not go back to our bad habit that we stopped during that time. We should not try to go back like Jesus is not there, decrease the amount of our prayers, decrease the amount of attending in the church, decrease the amount of reading the Bible. So we go just to live normal life like I'm just a Christian by name. After Jesus' resurrection, as I just mentioned, too many very important and significant events happened. When he appeared to the two disciples of Emmaus the same day of the resurrection, they were 
very, very depressed because they think Jesus died and they said, our hope is not there anymore. So they were going back from Jerusalem to their village or to their city. And that shows that a lot of people after that holy season, they go back to the first place they came for, which is they think that's it. I don't need maybe to do spiritual activity in my life anymore. And they were very, of course, upset. Then the Lord appeared with them in the way, but they didn't realize that he is Jesus. And they were talking together. And then the Lord said to them, O foolish ones and slow of heart, to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. So we should keep in our minds, sometimes we are foolish. We are slow of thinking. And we realize after Easter, you know, let's go back, let's go back to my normal life. And this is what happened with the disciples in the reading of today. They went for fishing, and they know the best time. They went at middle of night, working the whole night. And the Bible say they caught nothing. Of course they will caught nothing. Why? Because the Lord wants to tell them, listen, your mission just begin after my resurrection. Go, don't go back to your normal life because if you will go, you will get nothing. And then later on at the early morning, they saw kind of shadow. So this shadow told them, take your net and throw it on the right side of the boat. How big was their boat? I don't know. Maybe like this hallway, maximum. Between the left and the right, how many feet? Six, seven, eight feet? But they listened to him and they threw their nets on the right side of the boat and they got not only big numbers of fish, but also big ones. Because the Lord wanna tell them, I send you to be fisher of men. Don't go back to your normal life to the bad habits, to the bad things that you used to do. I called you for a new life. And the new life will give you a lot of fish, a lot of grace, a lot of blessing. But your old life, first is night, second you will get nothing. And after that, right away, Peter, he realized he is the Lord. Right away, he jumped in the water, swim, and he went to see him. And when he went there, he saw the Lord. He made kind of a little bit fire, cool, charcoal, and he was making food for them, preparing the new food for them. And he was telling them, in other words, your true food, your living food is with me, not in your old life. So we should be careful, dear brothers and sisters, because a lot of us, I heard people, they call me, they say, Abuna, why after Easter especially, we don't feel like we wanna pray as much as we used to do before, or we don't feel like we wanna go to the church. Maybe we went too many times in, especially the Holy Week. What's the reason? Is there any mistake, any wrong in our spiritual life? So what I want to say, this is what happened exactly with the disciples, but when the Lord appeared to them, he want to tell them, listen, come to me. Even if you feel a little bit spiritually cold, don't worry. I will provide food for you in that time. So that's why we need to understand that when we celebrate the Holy Easter, Christmas Day, or any spiritual event in the church, the spiritual celebration will begin right after that day. So it will not end up after that day. So we should be very careful. And after the resurrection, the true joy will begin in Christ. The true joy won't begin far away from Christ. This is what the Bible wants to tell us these day. So if we a little bit feel cold spiritually, last two weeks after Easter, the Lord is calling us, 
because he's providing food to every and each one of us so we can trust him and be with him and he is the one who will shower his blessing and his mercies upon all of us. May all the glory be to his name and bless all of us in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, went through God. Amen.